Greetings everyone. Time for a kind of unboxing video. Let's see who's going to turn up. We should have Rick, but let's see if Rick can figure out the internet today. Oh, folks are starting to arrive. Greetings. Here we go. Rick wants to join. Rick, are you there? How do diddly do? Hello there. How's it going? All right. Uh, oh, Spanish Rob is alive. <laughs> That's good to know. <laughs> yes. Never been stood up in a date before. He has been found. No, we both know that's not true. <laughs> ah, damn. Now your wife turned up. It was fine. It was all good. <coughs> Excuse me. You're not dead How's... yet. No, I'm not dead yet. You're dead. You're dead. <laughs> you're. Uh, you've not yet won the dead pole. So you're right. Ah. No. Float lights back and recovered, or, or back at least. Nice. I imagine he's still completely half cut. But here we go. I haven't heard any stories yet. Have you heard any stories of their trip? Uh, what happens in New York stays in New York. That is fair enough. That is fair comment. It's very rude of us yeah. to ask. It is indeed. <sighs> so what's been going on today then? What's been going on? Not recovered. Uh, what's been going on today? Oh, I found something. found something. Wait till, see, wait till you see this. I would, wait till see this. I would go to the doctor I, and get that looked I'm at. Gonna, I'm going to try. I'm going to try and show this in such a way that it doesn't represent the scale. You see this? Uh huh. Can you see that? So this is a watch that I used to wear a very long time ago. Uh -huh. Okay, so it's quite close to the camera. I'm gonna have a guess how big it is. <laughs> I've not actually Thir measured. Thirty-four. Thirty-four. Okay. Well, it's just uh, we'll do some contextual things. Hold on a second. Okay, I've taken off this Seiko. Seik uh huh. For a guess now. Okay, so there's there's the Seiko, which is forty. Four, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, 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 we're bringing it in. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Whoa! Let's hold them together. What? <laughs> the fuck? It actually fits inside the watch face. <laughs> I've not actually measured. I think it's probably it's on a sixteen mil strap. Uh huh. So and my useless. So there you go. That is Lovely. a tiny rotary watch. There you go. So nice, that gets the started. Nice, nice, nice. Good. Well, the, while the crowds are gathering. Yes, indeed. <laughs> and, and, that's it in relation, and that's it in relation to the Panerai. Hold on a second, it's even funnier. One Panerai? One you know what, this is teeny like, weeny rotary watch! <laughs> this is like Jeremy Beadle's audition tape. <laughs> there you go. Nice. About okay. the same size, yeah, exactly. That's exactly right. The back. <laughs> anyway, <coughs> there we have it. So twenty-one mil. <laughs> it's probably slightly bigger. I really should measure it. Uh, not got Where are you? Have you got a, you, go. you got a ruler or a tape measure on there? Yeah, but, give us give us two seconds. Uh, chat right. chat to the good people. Right, people. Uh, if you've got any questions or things like that, press the question button on the screen, and we will do our best to give you the wrong answer. And I'm going to do a live unboxing of my new purchase, even though I may have opened it earlier on and right, put it all back, back in the box. Okay, right, let's, let's see. So there it is. Uh, there is the ruler. Okay, right, the problem... The ruler up, Rick? Yes? Shut up just now. Well, so done. if you've got a question, press the question button because they scroll past their screen so quickly we can't really see what it is. Somebody asked something about Tudor and it just disappeared completely off screen. So if you press the question button, that'd be great. Right, what we're doing here, it's... Uh, 30 mil. Wow. Anyway. Here Is we go. a nice little ladies' going. quartz number you've got there? <laughs> I've been having a think about this. We've got quite a good response to the podcast and the... the no question the, button. There should lady. be a question symbol inside a box. Bottom right-hand side of your screen, there should be three symbols. And one of them should have a question mark on it. Is <laughs> and there is our first question. Well, yeah, it is Seiko. Seiko, I can't see that boy has absolutely ruined 
you must if you've not got a question button, you must have something odd on your settings. Weird. Uh, I would suggest Google it. Google it and ask why don't I have a question mark on my uh, Instagram? It is Seiko Puro, so if you have Seiko's, it's not there right now. Seiko's mm. <laughs> yes, isn't there a plural question? I don't know. Is Seiko Seiko? I have five Seikos. Seiko, sheep, sheeps, Lego, Lego. But pass. Yes, it does. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It does. It doesn't make you a bad person. It makes you ignorant. <laughs> right, I just saw it there. It was the new Chrono Black thoughts on it. Not much. Um, just looks like a normal one that's spray painted. A, I, I'm I'm not uh, an expert on Seiki. I'm not an expert on PVDs, so uh-huh. I don't know. I have asked the question of a local dealer about uh, availability, mm-hmm. so we will maybe get a close up one. I think it is. I mean, I'm glad. I, I still don't understand their strategy of producing a video, it just ending, and then a week later producing the watch. That the video it just makes no sense whatsoever. There we go. But to answer the question from uh, Bell, it doesn't make you a bad person. We're all about quantity over quality. It's true. Everybody should know that by now. So we just want more watches. We want all the watches. All the watches. Just all if the there's watches. a bandwagon, we will chase after <coughs> it and jump on we'll, the back and hold on. To I will life. hook my own horses up to said bandwagon and mm-hmm. chase off into the distance. Uh, uh, so why did I buy it? Because it looks cool. And I don't want to buy a vintage Pepsi. Does it? Does it? Does it does? Or I, I think it's just a complete hype machine. So you're going to unbox this thing. Let's see it. In a minute. In a minute. All right, okay. Get in there. Okay, okay. Get in there. This is this is the the vinegar uh, strokes the... before we actually unbox. It won't be good. <coughs> okay. So, uh, well, I mean, the the G Shock I bought is worse. At least with this, you can tell the time in the dark. Oh, the G, uh, the black one. Have you got that one there? Uh, no. You, you don't actually like this, do you? Mm. You're not convinced. I do a little bit. Do oh, it's Tyrus bit. watches. Uh. I've been having a th- I have been having a think about a uh, the whole women men's watch thing. Mm-hmm. And actually, it's just scooted past my screen there. I scoot past your screen because the problem with getting a unisex watch is always uh-huh. I feel that it's never really quite a unisex watch. It's uh, if a watch that a girl would normally like, and this is excluding the likes of the cats that are into the proper watches mm-hmm. uh, you kind of I kind of feel not well let's take the Chanel J12 it's supposed to be a unisex watch but would you actually feel that it really was if you were wearing it and then your wife wore it one day or your girlfriend wore it one day and actually I've come to the conclusion that there's possibly two watches kicking about just now which I think are actually genuinely unisex and that is that Anne Ordain Model 2 mm-hmm. and a fears watch which I've got on review, I actually think anybody could wear them and you wouldn't feel like either of you were compromising in any way. So there you go, that's just my thoughts on the matter. I think it's a bit like if you're looking for unisex, it would be like your girlfriend stealing your baseball hat or your hoodie. They can upsize, but you would never downsize. Horridge watches are in the house. We gave them a shout out the other day in the podcast. Good stuff. Nice we got a question from Logan How soon before who dinky climbing into Hood bed dinky. with Time Extra Special Edition. Any <laughs> moment now. Anyway. Any yes. moment now. Expect, so what would the special edition be? I'll tell you what it'll be. It'll be that the red is on the top and the blue is on the bottom of that adjustable dial. <laughs> uh, clickbait are asking, when are you actually going to do proper YouTube videos? We will soon before you come back with insults. <laughs> As if we would. We love you guys. When you come on the podcast, you put a dick. Yes, we've been trying to set that up for a while. You don't get to be listed specifically on our Facebook uh-uh. group until you've been on the podcast. Oh, Mark is Goldberg from... is here. It's oh, Mark. Don in the house. Yeah. So, yes. So, what are you Mark, Mark have tell a us what you're wearing. Tell, him to, tell, tell Tim to reply to our email to come on the podcast. <laughs> uh, Mark will raided the goodie bag to be. Uh, 
uh, wearing something interesting today, no doubt. Uh, and Declan is here from his new gig at Mapper and Webbs. Just back from the toilet. Around. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, so what was the question we were just answering there? What one? I've forgotten. Well, you were talking. We were talking Hodinky? about your Timex. The Hodinky one. Oh, yeah, it will yeah. probably be twenty minutes for the produced one. I can, yeah. Yes. And who knows Although to be fair, they made like they cleared themselves of about five hundred grand on those Uber work ones. I think there's still one left. Hmm. But uh, you know, they need to for a hundred and fifty dollars or whatever it is. I'm not quite sure how limited they need to do it to make it worth a while. Yeah, he's tempting, tempting you with this unboxing. A slide in there. <laughs> excuse me, excuse the cold. I've still got a right. terrible cold. Right, go on then. <laughs> Let's forget, see this. Right. Front to back. Okay. This is going to be quite difficult, so. Because I've seen people with this box. The box looks absolutely enormous. Kind of Omega content. Just hold on a thing. Why? Where are you going? Hmm. Rick's away to pay the rent, boy. Dan is in the house. What, downstairs? <laughs> Righty-o. So, boxy, boxy. That's quite a sizable box for a, a wee watch. So far, so good. It's definitely a Timex. It is a Timex. Hey, are both cats now here? Or is it just cartoon cat that's in the room? I saw a cat ones. Scribble go by in a minute ago. And it's a box within a box. Oh, right, okay. syndrome. Yep. Ta da. Cool. Now let's see if the watch will fall out when I do this. <laughs> Hey, Catelyn. Both Catelyns are here. Oh, yep. It's all kind of gone to fuck. So there I'm we go. I'm not convinced. It looks like fish scales for that bracelet. Fish scales. Uh, I'm not yeah. Can you read this? Is this readable? The, a re well, I could probably read it. You'd stumble over the words. <laughs> uh, a reissue 40 years in the making. First release in 1979. I don't need to read it. People that are watching it. <laughs> to read it. I'm not reading it out. So it's, it's a nice little... Clean. Nice little cloth insert, and if I <coughs> take this out, we has got a little watch with lots it of looks like a, It looks like a rainbow oh, trout. A rainbow trout. Uh, oh, it's not the only kind of trout not, you have to deal with. Not convinced. Who isn't? I, I'm just. Who's not convinced? I'm not. I'm not convinced that this is. The watch it's hyped up to be okay, it's 150 quid, so you're hardly gonna lose your shirt over it. But are you ever actually gonna wear it? Might oh, as well. Yes, I, Logan TikTok Coletta, I've just seen a, an Instagram post of Logan's about this watch with an alternative bracelet on it. So, uh, flip it over the back, is it just is it drilled? It's lugs? like, it's like the, oh, shit, oh it's know. old, fa it's old fashioned. Hmm. Yeah, it is. It's like the Bulova I've got, or the Bulova. Yeah. Right, okay. So, so it's it is... spring bars. Mm, it's spring bars yeah. through, it's yeah. spring bars through, like, those funny hoops, right, okay. Yeah. Does it have indigo, somebody is asking? Have Let's you got a out. UV light there? I don't have a UV light, but I can do try this. Not blind, try not blind everybody watching. Ah, my mm. eyes. Three, two, one. <laughs> Darkness. Yeah, it's got enough. Is it? Do. Can't tell from can't tell from the video. To be fair. Well, so it's... everybody, everybody who's on, thumbs up. I don't know if you've, have you got a thumbs up and a thumbs down comment uh, button I on don't this. Know. I have no yeah, idea. you do. You can you can leave your we uh, so thumbs up or thumbs down. Stick it on the the live chat. Let's see what's happening. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Uh, cool. See for the money. Thumbs up you can buy a really thumbs. shitty swatch like I've done loads of, or you can get this. It's got a metal <coughs> bracelet. It's got all the funk yes. 1970s. It's got that royal oak case shape. Bezel <laughs> turns doesn't what click. Type of it's great. Does it not click? Want. Has it no. got no click? Not friction. So there we go. Right, okay. Oh well. It's just cool. It's just ah, cool. We, have a, we have one thumbs down. <laughs> Declan uh, being nice as always. <laughs> Declan. 
when we get into the vibe. It's because he doesn't sell Timex in his new shop. He's gone up in the world. Squally only. Uh, squally only. Yes, I, I mean, come on. It looks to me, you have got chicken wrist though, but it looks to me that it is actually wears quite big because of the way the, the lugs are. Yeah, that'd be right. Worst. That clasp looks horrific. That's going to be that's going to be a nail breaker. It's well, I've already you're, had to get a with pedicure. A it's a pedicure, a manicure. Pedicure is your feet, isn't it? Uh, so happy days. So there we go. So anyway, anybody got any questions? We're 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 Probably. here for a short time, not a long time. Right, let me have a look. Uh, what place? You must have some questions lined up there. Yes, we do. We do. People have been people just have been ignore asking. the intelligent ones. Ooh. Let's have a look. Uh, there, Dara, DM Tiffany saying he's got a... Let me just see if I can find that again because it's scrolled by. Oh. He's got a spare tuning fork movement laying around his workshop next to his ATM sign probably. It would be sweet to swap into that. There's a thought. Hmm. I mean, it's a cheap enough watch. You could mod it with something really impressive. You could skeletonize it. Nice. Right, we have questions. Movement. Let's do that. Could be a questions. Scottish watch. limited edition. Uh, <laughs> how does the clasp size work for an expert watchmaker like me? Well, I managed to break the clasp and bend it, and then bend it back into shape and get it all sorted out. Is that your urine sample? So, <laughs> uh, it's it's alright. It's not the worst. It's a. 10 quid eBay bracelet on a 25 quid eBay watch. But like Omega, <laughs> Dan Wellington and Rolex, they just bump the prices up because you know people pay it. So, there you go. All very nice. Yeah, it's alright. Uh, it's not too bad. Is it well, actually what, kind what of full patina? Is it kind of full patina need? The, yeah. the loom on it? Yeah. Put this back on just for the sake of it. See, I'll show you proper loom. There's no one. torch. Yeah, ATM edition. Uh, let's see. Clasp. Let's see if we can get some daylight loom off of this. It's not too bad, actually. If you can see that or not. Yeah, that's that's good. Look, I mean, you, look how you, you're, bent that you're, is. You're, you're entirely bent shaved, you. so you're entirely shaved. So that's not going to be a hair puller on you because you're bodybuilding. Have you DM Tonbo, aka Watch Guru, yet? He'd be great in the podcast or YouTube video. I'm not aware. Do we do we know him? No. And somebody asked about somebody else about Patina earlier on. I don't know mm -hmm. if you've heard from him. The fuck you guy or something. What? Some remember there's a guy that commented on the Patina article. Oh, a uh, the a uh, thingy a thingy Q. Uh huh. I uh, no. I, I, I don't think we heard from him. don't think so. So uh, I'll go back. If you've got the question there, I'll go back and... Eric, who that was the one. I don't think we got in touch with him. Tom Bolt. That's a new name to me, I have to say. So somebody write that down. Hey, 40 and 20 are here. Yeah. But it's like the Avengers Assemble this. We've got 10 and 2, 40 and 20. We just need somebody from Two Broke Watch Knobs to show up. Right, so we're looking for this and this. That's a bit better. Oh, it's Everett. Hi, Everett. How are you doing? Three, two, one. Oh, that's not there, bad. There it we go. About, it lasts about 20 seconds, but it's not bad. Look at that hour hand. <coughs> <coughs> it's like Homer Simpson's bell end after work. Thanks for that. That's okay. That's what I'm here for. Somebody mentioned it doesn't have any loom on the second sand, which is correct. But who cares? It's quartz. And it almost, as you saw there, it almost hits the registers as it goes round. <laughs> right, I'm just going to check it. And it doesn't Tom make Bolt any noise. It doesn't tick. Tom Bolt. Time machines. What the hell are you doing? I'm uh, looking for who this guy Tom Bolt is. <laughs> His brother about. Usain would be good too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I don't know if this is him. Right, anyway, I've searched for it, so we'll we'll go back and we'll find out who he is. Mm -hmm. Anyway, good. cool. So what else is fresh? Oh. You, you've got to you. Has your has your Riquetta arrived yet? Uh, no, no, it hasn't. No. And um, right, we have a very interesting here. question here from a wee while uh -huh. ago okay. regarding your ruler. 
Why is there my? <laughs> good is there really? Let me just have a look and see. Uh, is there? Is there? <laughs> you don't get the joke at all, do you? No. You are such yeah, an do, innocent. I do get the joke. You are such an innocent. <laughs> not according to Cat, when I'm not. According to oh, Cat, I'm really bad and mean. <laughs> More oh. about that later, though. <laughs> Oh, God. To be right. fair, I stole this from somebody else's desk in the office. <laughs> Don't mind. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, there's Clean Cat pretending that she's still clean. <laughs> uh, right, there we go. Favourite release <laughs> of... Uh, my ho- at my 40 and 20, my uh, horse noise sound effect better be appearing in your Thursday podcast. Better be. Uh, Favourite release so far this year? Eh... Uh, Oh, That's a hard one to think about. There's so many. Uh, the hold on, I'll get it for you. This is hold on, you'll get it for. I'm not, I'll not get it because I don't own it. Uh, hold on, let me let me get it up on the screen. Hmm. Probably this. Uh, Best oh. release so far this year. This one coming on the screen in a second. As soon as there's loads. That. Yeah, I would say that's just a gold version of all the rest they do. Yeah, but it's cool. But they're all cool. It's just the coolest of the cool. Uh, so there you go. That's released the year from it. Or the dive, the dive watch version, which is... Mm. Oh, what's I new? Don't know. I don't know People seem to like the new. Batgirl. I'm kidding. DB28. This is the There's one that many new watches that come out. We're going to have to think about it because people have actually been asking <coughs> towards the end of the year if we're going to do a kind of round up. Of the Ming with the Salmon deal is nice, yes. It is nice, yeah. but I wouldn't say of the year. See if, you, see if you're listening and you haven't joined the Facebook group. If you can join the Facebook group and then send us a message, we want some interesting categories for mm-hmm. our watch awards for the end of the year. So if you've got any good suggestions, give us a shout. Oh, this yeah. is Watch Parts Motorcycles. Yep. Hello. How often are your podcasts too damn often? <laughs> Mondays Twice and Fridays. They come out Mondays and Fridays, quite early on, GMT. Uh, we record whenever the hell we can be bothered and we find the time. We also Grace Gaiman, I've drop... just reported your comment to Instagram, just so as you know. What comment? <laughs> He said that the Code 1159 was the best release of the years I've reported him to Instagram. Oh, good. They'll be gone soon. Uh, yes, we record them ever. Sometimes we drop midweek episodes as well if we've got specials or we do collaborations with other podcasters. <coughs> Excuse me. But generally, Monday and Friday, as long as you do show notes in time. <laughs> hey, King Flum, how's it going? But you should check out Watch Parts Motorcycles uh, Instagram page. Yep. Very cool stuff there. Very cool. Did we reference them good. a couple of podcasts ago? Yes. Well, in fact, I make it to Basel. No more this available. <laughs> Perhaps one next to the lose. Well, see, you think you've been funny, but in fact, I <laughs> have had a stall at Basel. Not have last they? year, but the year, the years previous to that. Yeah, I managed to get a free bag and stuff from them. So well, they own a uh, what do you call Glycine. Yes, it's Glycine. They own. Yeah, it's a yeah, massive it's company. Also. It's it's, huge. it's the I don't know who you'd, who you would say they're the Alba of watches. They do all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, they have actually been there. Uh, how long does it take to edit a typical podcast? Depends what you mean by typical. Uh, Rick and his sort of bullshitting and talking <laughs> over people and long rants can take quite some who, time. Who, me? You. No. Uh, if there's four guests and people are coughing and spluttering and whatever else, it can take longer. If it's just me and Rick, maybe, I don't know, three hours, something like that, maybe, three and a bit. Depends yeah. how many sound effects are going in, if we have to cut out swearing, if we're including other people's audio clips, if we're putting music in, then we have to render it out, listen all the way through, make sure there's no gaps or mistakes, and we're away to the races. Uh, 14, 14 and 20. 14 20 are having a, they're having a moan. Are they? Eugene. Eugene's having a moan. Is he? <laughs> yeah. I'm, to be fair, we have, still... been working, we have been working trying to record with those guys for ages. Right. Um, We've looked at their stats, and they've only got 100 listeners, so until they get to at least 150, we, we can't, it's a no-go. 
I so, think Robert uh, North needs his hole. Um, <laughs> let me see what else we've got in here. But fourteen twenty, we will. I'll, I'll actually message again after this. We'll try and set something up. We've got somebody was asking who we've got coming on. We have got. Do we see who we're recording tomorrow? Pete. We've got Pete, seventy-four listeners. Listen, I was giving you the benefit of the doubt. Always round up. Uh, we've got Pete from Not So Obvious Watches. Yep. I'm really looking forward to this because he's an educated and erudite individual like myself, and not a potty mouth like you. Like me. So we might have a good chat. Stainless steel, non-ceramic, Daytona, or Hulk? Hulk. Uh, yeah, the Hulk Depending is best. if it's for a man or a woman. The Hulk's it's... too green. I'd go for the Kermit. But that That's wasn't the question. That's like one of those English answers. You know, you're given a choice between two and you choose the third. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let me see. Any other questions you guys want to fire in? Or are we good? We're good to go. I think sure. we're almost got, good to go. We've got Pete. If anyone has any questions, if particularly interested in asking Pete, then let us know. Fake Richard Mule, Richard Mule worn by Beckham. I mean, yeah, I reckon. I, actually, I thought it was rather brave of uh, Cartoon Cat to suggest that Rafa Nadal was wearing uh, is wearing a, a not a fake Richard Mule. Uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Cosplay is not the word I'm looking for. Costume what's jewelry? It? Costume version of a Richard Mill when he plays tennis as opposed to a real one. But uh, I believe it is a real watch. Hmm. Don't know anything uh, about this. And it was designed for him. Have you not listened to their podcast today? Who? You'll be get, yeah, the 10 and 2. You'll be getting letters. 10 and 2? I don't listen to that one. All right, okay. That's fine. Anyway, I... I reckon Richard Mill worn by Beckham, the American footballer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Muppet would be the <laughs> my answer. That is my answer 4,000 miles away. My answer might be slightly different if he was sitting in the next room. So he's a professional hand egg player? He is the round ball, which is called, where they have touchdowns that you don't actually touch the ball down. Touchdowns, right. I, I don't really get it. Brexit, I learned... any thoughts, lots of them. I learned everything I know about American football from Ace Ventura. <laughs> Pet detective. Pet detective. Laces As out. As opposed to... What's, uh, who's, how, who's being rude to Catwood now? Am I being rude? Am I being rude Everybody's to Catwood rude. again? <laughs> Catwood, your team won. You're supposed to be happy. I checked. You beat them 49-0 or something. Admittedly, you beat a team that there's a song and dance written about. Which doesn't sound like they're the hardest of college football teams. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's should are likely to introduce a micro adjustment system onto their BB models like Rolex Easy Link. I thought some of these Tudors they've got, had they've got one. tremendous. They've got the, Pelag- the Pelagos has got uh-huh. the best bracelet you'll find for the money in anywhere. any brand, anywhere, in my opinion. Why they don't put it on all their watches is just bizarre, but Tudors appear to be living in a wibbly wobbly world of their own at the moment for some reason so has anyone yeah, actually seen a p01 in the wild yes there's a good question we'll ask you a question because yeah. we've not seen them anywhere in the uk which watch would ace ventura wear hmm i'm not sure what would ace ventura wear probably a g-shock rick have you disappeared no, I'm here. No, you went, went a bit quiet there, which was good. So whatever you did, can you do that again? No, I saw that your th- little thing was swirling round and round. Right. I think it was actually you yeah. that went quiet. There we go. God. Uh, let me see. I, I definitely turned Pornhub off. Do, 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 do. Oh, here we go. Lots of <coughs> things. Why does all the American ladies you have on have potty mouths? I think we just bring out the best in people. <laughs> the thing is, they always seem to have potty mouths when they come on with us. Mm-hmm. When they do their own things, they don't. So, cats. Although to be fair to cartoon cat, she's wasn't she's very she's playing it pretty straight laced. Although I've heard uh, rumors, I, I have heard exactly those same rumors mm-hmm. uh, last night, in fact, and. <laughs> <laughs> we've had so we've had Sophie on, who uh-huh. I, I, I'm expecting great things of uh, Barbara when we get her on. 
So we'll see. And I think yeah. she'll be careful. I think she's probably a little bit more. You think? Refined towards towing the line. Yeah, <laughs> because Ricky I has a so. type. Well, I know Sophie's. <laughs> Uh, Ricky is a type, huh? Uh, so, yeah, far will be good. <laughs> yeah, there's, a, a, there's hard, a proper challenge. Sam, she was quite quiet. Put a Richard Mill on some actual proper round egg ball players that play rugby, play all this kind of... I'd love to see rugby players play American football and American footballers have a go at rugby and just see how it goes. Because I think that the rugby players might, you know, be demonstrated to be slightly tougher than your average American footballer. But that's just a guess. I agree, but also the problem is over here, and I don't care about it, actual football, or what the Yanks call soccer. Soccer. The people Which just the roll around before it. pretending they've been injured all the time. I will give due credence so, to the Americans cool. for calling it soccer. The correct name mm -hmm. for association football slang is soccer. Because it's the derivative of association football. So I'll never... Aussie rules football. You want a proper game? You want to play shinty? Shinty or hurling? Okay. Hurling. I know what I do every Friday night. That is exactly what you do. Give you some ice cream so. and your hurl away. Alrighty. Right. Right, are we about to end this? I think so. I think we should Let just, me just have a quick check. Uh, I'll just read some of these. When is the band podcast getting leaked? Well, if our names don't go straight to the top of certain waiting lists, probably Christmas time. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting. For the, as long as the Sky Dweller arrives soon, then there'll not be a problem. <laughs> uh, why haven't you praised the cats for today's podcast yet? I think you did. I, I just think did. you actually posted just it. Did. And you also posted uh, it in our group. posted in the Facebook group. It was a good yep. podcast today. Uh, despite uh, the fact that Cat seems to think that she needs to apologise. Mind you, it was the most unapologetic apology. Oh, there's Amanda from Apple Web. Most unapologetic apology you've ever heard anybody make. Mm -hmm. Kind of Trump-esque apology. Is it I the kind of apology where I would say, Rick, I'm really sorry that you're a dickhead? <laughs> that, that, exactly that kind, that kind of thing. Of thing. Mm -hmm. Although the fact was it was an apology made for something that uh, I don't need to I don't quite understand it. I think the problem is the irony doesn't and sarcasm doesn't communicate very well on Instagram direct messaging. I think no. I need to do everything by voice from now on. I'm going to leave Cat with a voice message because they go Sounds down good. really well. <laughs> uh, let me see what else. Need a Red Bar Glasgow meet, not been for a while. We've been speaking to Floatlight mm, and we're actually news. in talks with some people, our brands, people and locations. Are about a Scottish Watches meetup, so mm. keep your eyes peeled on the Instagram and the website. So I think that is us. We shall head yep. off. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Our next podcast will be out on Friday morning, and we're going to be doing updates, obviously, on the Facebook group and Instagram. So if you're not already on our Facebook group, go on to Scottish Watches, and that is where the fun will continue when this ends. And you can re-watch this for all your entertainment, or anybody that missed it, you know, this will go on to YouTube, so we can Catch up with that. Yes, Laugh along me. at home. Right, so it's <laughs> then. Toodle pip. Goodbye. Ciao.